Hi there and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Lindsay. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and also The Real Real. I post mystery unboxing videos Monday and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so, it is free. Hit the thumbs up for me if you enjoy the video and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my uploads. So today I am back with a thread up unboxing and I have for you two sleepwear boxes. Um, I believe these have been discontinued um, or just removed from the site for a while. I have not seen them restock and they just completely have removed the listing from their site. Um, I don't think that means it's necessarily gone forever. I have seen them do that with the rental retirees box as well. And then it'll just pop back in at some point. Um, but I do have two of these that I want to get opened. Um, these both came from uh, Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. So um, it does seem like in the, in the fun boxes, we are getting a lot more sleepwear. So, you know, maybe they just didn't have enough to keep these going. Um, but they were usually pretty decent when they had them. So I'm glad that I at least have these two. And hopefully there's something good in here to show you guys. And I don't see an invoice on the top, but maybe it's at the bottom. Um, I believe the price on these was $24 um, plus tax and you get four items. And first up, it looks like we have a nightgown possibly. And this I am not seeing a brand on. It looks like the interior tag was removed. So this is some kind of duster or robe. And it definitely has a perfume odor. So that is really not acceptable that that doesn't even have a name, a brand name or anything on it. Um, next up we have PJ Harlow Lounge. And these are really soft. Um, a pair of drawstring pants. And they're a size small. These are rayon, um, rayon satin. And then the band is cotton. They are made in the USA. So they do feel nice. I don't know um, about that brand though. This is a top that goes with it. Just a sleeveless tank and that is an extra small. So the pants are small and this is extra small, but it looks like this is definitely an oversized fit. Um, there's no price on them. And they definitely need a good steaming. So, um, yeah, I guess I would probably still try to list them together, even though they're different sizes, but I'll have to research that. I'm very bummed about the first piece. Um, but it looks like we have two more items here. This is a really nice bra. It is a strapless bra in a beautiful white lace. And this is body frosting in a size large. Um, this was originally $25 and it was discounted down to $10 at Kohl's. So that is not um, anything too great, but I can remove the clearance sticker at least. So it's new and it has a size. And lastly, we have a Jones New York Intimates and a medium. And this is a really nice nightgown. So this is definitely the best item in the box, I would say, unless that set comps out well. So everything must be a theme in this one um, with the white. So we had the um, Jones New York nightgown for one. The 
Body Frosting Bra for two. Three with the um, PJ set. The extra small top and the small bottoms. So actually, I guess we got um, just four, if you're gonna count this as one item for the set, which I probably would. Um, so, I mean, that whatever this is, is just gonna be a donate. Um, like I said, it's, it's just, there's no brand. I don't even know what it is. And it does have a perfume smell. Um, I guess if it fits me, I could maybe keep it if I could get that smell out, but it's certainly not worth listing. So that was not too great of a box. Hopefully the second one can redeem us. And, you know, for the little amount of profit this box could potentially be, it's also a lot of work because, you know, everything in there is going to need to be steamed and, you know, it's just not really worth the time and effort to, you know, just make your money back. But you have to list it so you can at least make your money back. And this one is also from Mechanicsburg. And I did get a invoice in this one. These were ordered back on September 5th. So a really long time. Um, okay, so these I actually may have gotten on sale because this one um, went for $20. So I guess, um, and maybe I'm remembering it now, I think around Labor Day they did have a sale. So I must have picked up these two then. Um, so each one was $20. And then I would have had to pay shipping on these because... Um, I have to spend at least $29 to get free shipping. So it was $20 plus shipping plus tax. And here's a peek at the second one. So I think it can only go up from here, I would hope. Um, hopefully this is not all like white ivory stuff like the last box. Um, this is a robe. And this looks like it is vintage. It's California Dynasty. And, you know, there might be a few snags here and there. Um, but it does have these um, lace sleeves. And it does have the tie for it. And um, there, there are some snags on the back. But nothing too, too major. So this might do okay if it's vintage. I don't see a size on it, so it might just be a one size piece. There was another tag in there that was removed. And next up, I do have a bra. This is a really pretty blue color. And it's an underwire, um, no padding. And this is Victoria's Secret. This one did have a $40 tag on it and it's a 38D. So this one's really nice, very fun color. And I love that it is brand new. So that is good. And next up we have a nightgown. Um, this is Linnea Donatella. And it's a size large, 100% polyester. And yes, this is the front here. Okay. So I don't know if this is also a vintage piece. I have sold this brand in a robe before. Um, this looks okay. So at least it can be listed, but um, it's, you know, definitely has a little bit of wear to it. And lastly, we have something new in the package. And this is Land's End. And it's a size medium. And it's the tie-dye heart. And it's kind of a flannel and it's just a top so no bottoms um, with it so
so um, it does not actually have a tag on it but I assume that it's brand new and it, and it looks and feels new so this may have been around for a little while but um, that's okay I think I can resell that so um, I think that the second box was better, um, you know, unless that PJ set from the first box ends up comping super well, but I doubt it. This box, we had the Land's End sleep shirt for one. We had the Linnea Donatella nightgown for two. Three with the Victoria's Secret bra. And then four with the California Dynasty vintage robe. So, yeah, these boxes were not great. I am, certainly have gotten better ones in the past. Um, it's going to be, you know, a decent amount of work to get all of this listed. And probably not much profit here. But um, I do enjoy selling sleepwear, so um, these boxes always had a lot of potential, but for now, I just like getting the sleepwear that comes in the fun boxes. So hopefully they continue that, and then, you know, usually you're at least guaranteed something decent to come in the fun box then if you're getting the sleepwear. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you back real soon with another video. Take care.